Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Uh, we will see the ROC curves in five minutes approximately. Now, remember the last uh, lecture when we saw uh, sensitivity and specificity in patients with uh, positive or negative tests. Those tests were, such as um, the ultrasound, were categoric tests. I mean, they were or whether positive or negative tests. Let's imagine we now use a continuous test. First, we imagine this group of patients in which we suspect to have appendicitis. Some patients will not have appendicitis, and some patients will have appendicitis. Now, we draw a blood sample, and we distribute the sick or diseased patients and the healthy patients in this line. This line represents the white blood cells from 3,000 to the right and 20,000 to the left or more. And the healthy patients and the diseased patients will be distributed in this way, approximately. This is what happens in real life. Now, imagine this patient with 20,000 white blood cells. And what will happen if we consider this patient as positive? Will be this will this patient be a true positive or will this patient be a false positive? This patient will be a true positive. And we can draw a line with the true positive going up, which represents the sensitivity, and the false positive going to the right, which represents uh, one minus specificity. Now imagine the patient with the disease, uh, which is a true positive, is going up in the graphic, and we will put these patients without appendicitis to the right. The, I mean, the, the, red posit the true positives will be, will be going up, and the false positive will be going right. Imagine these three going up, these four going right, and so forth. we will obtain this figure, this curve, which is called the ROC curve. And below, and to the right of this curve, there is an area, which is called an area under the ROC curve. Now let's obtain, obtain a cutoff point. The cutoff point uh, is usually obtained by uh, computer, computer program, but this this uh, this is usually the process. Imagine these uh, arrows. Which one is the shorter arrow? And this represents the best cutoff point in this test. In our case, is fifteen thousand white blood cells per cubic millimeter. Now imagine a faulty diagnostic test, just to compare. A faulty diagnostic test, we have this distribution of patients. As you can see, there are diseased patients distributed among healthy patients, so we cannot uh, differentiate among uh, between healthy and diseased patients. A good diagnostic test separates disease from healthy. The disease patients, patients will be to the left, and the healthy patients will be to the right. This is an ideal test, of course, but all of these patients will be correctly classified. So uh, this means this, they will be true positives, and the false positives will be to the right. As you can see, you can you here obtain a perfect ROC curve, which area under the ROC curve is 1. This is the best test that you can ever obtain. This area under the ROC curve the 0.8, and this area is 0.6. As you can see now, you can compare 1 or 2 or more 
continuous test.